Hey guys, thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. Today we have Coach Shelly on the show to share us one of her special recipes when it comes to belly burn challenges. Thanks Neri, thank you for having me. Um, today I am going to share my favorite recipe uh, in the belly burn and it is a pita pizza. It's quick, fast, and most of the things you would have at home. So that's why it's one of my favorites. So the first thing you would do is start with your pita. Um, this one that I bought is our compliments. It is actually a Greek style pita, so it's a little different. I like it because it's, uh, um, it's a little, you know what, it actually is a little softer and it's um, flat, whereas mo some of the pitas I find are uh, round. got a round, uh, so it's hard to put all your toppings. This one actually, you're right, it does feel softer, yeah. but it feels kind of like spongy, almost like mm -hmm. pizza dough. I really like it. It's not dry, it didn't feel dry. They're anyways. hard to find. The only place that I have been able to find them is at Sobeys. Okay, perfect. Uh, so next, I would add some pizza sauce. I find that it doesn't really matter uh, whether you add pizza sauce or just some tomato sauce other than uh, for flavor. Um, I've done both. Uh, basically, it's whatever you can fit in your macros. Okay. So if they fit whatever, whatever you need, you can use either. Yeah, everything would be put put right into my fitness belt. Super easy, and especially if you scan the barcodes, 100% easier. So I just spread it out. People, if you like more, you add more, but keeping in mind whatever your allowable is for your macros. So, so the next thing would be to add some type of protein. Um, depending on what your macros are again. Um, shrimp is one of my favorites because it's very low in fat. And, and really high in protein and actually. And very high in protein, yeah. I usually cook a whole bunch of chicken and then put it in the fridge mm -hmm. and then that's what I would just add. But these are perfect because it's so easy. You can yes. find them literally at Walmart, Superstore, no frills. Absolutely. And it saved me a lot when I've been mm -hmm. trying to watch my diet as well. Okay, so for the next one, just to show how you can just put whatever you want on it, I'm going to add, um, I'm going to put the mushroom on first, actually. So I just slice it up. So one thing I like about mushrooms is that it actually has a meaty taste to it. Mm -hmm. But a fun fact, it actually has quite a bit of protein, if you didn't know. And so if we measured it again, you're going to weigh it. And if we can set it to the... Yeah, so then I would just put into my fitness pal, however much, 23 grams, and then put it on. I usually don't like onions on anything other than my pizza. I like, Shelly, how you say that you weigh your mm -hmm. vegetables. I do it too. Yeah. And even though vegetables don't have a lot of calories, I weigh it for one reason. To, to know how much fiber I've actually consumed. Mm -hmm. Because if I stop weighing my vegetables, it's like, well, if I look at my fitness pal, it says I have no fiber, right. but I did have fiber. When I'm doing the belly burn myself, and as with the members that are on my team, I really encourage them to weigh everything because if you wanna to push to get perfect macros, mm -hmm. that's one of the only ways to do it. I myself love to try and get my perfect macros. You know, I love tomato on pizza too. I actually love uh, pineapple, and I know that's a long debated. Hey, I was just going to mention I actually have pineapple in my fridge. If you, you know, let's well, bring it up. Well, if you want to put let's it on bring there, it out. It, to me, it belongs I just, on pizza. I love. I'm gonna add some tomato to the uh, bacon or to the uh, chicken one as well. You okay. can add, like that's the thing I love about this recipe. You can absolutely add anything you want. Well, today I am gonna add pickles. Okay, that I've never tried. The pineapple, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna add yeah. some pickles. And what I like or... about this recipe, Shelly, is that you can get your kids involved too. It's so oh, yes. simple to make. So you can make it what you need for the belly burn. Mm -hmm. And they can make however they exactly. want. Exactly. I wanna add some spinach. Okay. And the other thing is, this is like a cup, but when you julienne it, it doesn't seem like it's as much. So I just kinda bunch it all up together and try and hold it in my hand as best that I can. And you can just go. And just the whole thing like that? Just like that. Yeah. And then we're gonna put cheese on top. So we could have put the um, tomatoes on top or, However, however you want to do it. So this one, I am going to add some pickles. 
And then we'll put some pineapple on the other one. After we're done this, then I'm gonna add some cheese. This is a third of a cup, so it says 30 grams. So I would just, uh, either I would weigh it mm -hmm. and put whatever I was weighing on and then put it in my fitness ball, or I would just do a third of a cup, but it says 30 grams. So I'm gonna put this just around. And then we're gonna put it in, um, we, until we got our air fryer, we would just put it in the oven. But now that we have the air fryer, it's air fryer all the way. I usually put it on the top rack. Okay. And I would put it for eight minutes and then have a look at it. Okay. Do you cook two and at the same time? I usually do one just okay. because I'm making it for myself usually. And, um, and it's so fast. Like even if Sheridan and I are making it together, I'll make mine, put it in, she'll make hers and then put I it see. In. Okay, so now we're ready to taste it. And at this point, this is when I would add uh, probably about uh, half a teaspoon of uh, chili flakes. So I'll just put it in my hand. <gasps> you roughly. put it right on your hands? And then, yeah, or I just. Oh, okay, yeah, it doesn't I, I, matter. Like, I rub my eyes a lot, so I'm oh. afraid that I would. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, let's dig in. All right, look at this. Okay. Mm. Mm hmm. Look at this. The pita mm. is actually holding its shape, so it's quite nice actually, and it doesn't feel like a pita. It actually does feel like mm. a pizza crust. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Thanks, Shelly, for showing us your recipe for the pita pizza. I learned a lot, and I just <laughs> loved how versatile it is. Mm hmm. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you. I'll see you guys next week. Bye, Bye guys. guys.